Aloha. Uh, I wanted to do a video in reference to something I just came across and um, also tie it into the whole mindset of um, the uh, separation grid as a whole. But first, before I get to that point, I want to start off on something because before I forget it, because I don't want to get it, forget it because this is very important. But uh, fuck Joe Rogan. This dude is he is to information what Alex Jones and Infowars is to information, or what that that um, ancient aliens do with the hair. And, and 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 all that shit and he's always in those memes where he says aliens that dude is to <clears throat> ancient anything ancient information the indigenous people he is to information in the indigenous people um yeah joe rogan is is that is a fucking this is all monkey mind mentality this is basically what it is all of this distraction, all of this uh, cultural appropriation, all of these uh, laws, all of these mentalities, the school system as a whole, the university system, public education, the genetically modified foods, the, genetic, the genetically modified baby foods, the fluoride in your water, the... Um, the colonial system as a whole, the supremacy program, the eugenics program, the race, uh, the race checker game, uh, on top of the colonial and institutionalization monkey mind chess game underneath at the foundation of that checker game, uh, everything that the control grid is about. And NASA and the university system as a whole being the pinnacle, the pinnacle of that mind control grid. This is what these monkey mind meathead motherfuckers are defending on a regular basis. And I'm going to link the video that triggered that whole response to Joe Rogan because I always kind of felt that way about him just by his giant ego and his basic ass perspectives and the fact that I heard him talking about moon stuff a long time ago or a while ago and then now he just did a, a full a full 180 and I don't know you know what that's all about how his personal whatever or, or how involved he is in the system and that or what happened with him I don't know any of that stuff all I know is I'm speaking in reference to the individual that is speaking today because this dude is no different than the Oprah Winfrey's, the ancient aliens, and all the other assholes that are out there pushing this orchestrated version of understanding what's going on, or this orchestrated version of revolution, or this orchestrated version of uh, truth and understanding that is weighted in the limitation grid as a whole by defending itself with ad hominem attacks on information period and just that that is the foundation it's like oh well you don't know about physics come on you don't know these these people just don't know physics and then that that layer that these are basically the the defense mechanisms for just the same way Neil deGrasse Tyson and Bill Nye approach the world and then sell that shit on big think to kids and then tell them carry on with their their lives and and asking questions about their reality this shit is all bullshit bogus and ridiculous and they are at the the front line the front line of the monkey mind control grid as a whole and I just had to get that out, out of my... If you want to know what I'm talking about um, after this video, go ahead and click on the link down below and um, check out 
that video where Joe Rogan was talking in reference to, and this was only about five, six days ago, speaking in reference to um, the flat earth, and um, uh, it, it's just blatantly obvious. That video is a good video to understand what ad hominem is because that meathead he's basically out there to play the 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 type of intellectual um the intellectual masculine figure uh but he's really just a um the um the monkey mind the evolution and this is this is part of the other split uh the split I referenced in another video before is uh, the evolution theory, the Big Bang theory, uh, the gravity theory, the globe model theory, all this shit, and specifically in reference to the monkey, the monkey evolution theory. This is at the foundation of the old paradigm and what giving your power away to a um, a Stockholm Syndrome uh, slave master mentality is it's this is this is what it's all about it's about um, whether you will empower yourself and sit in your power and know who you are what you are from the ground up, not from a university system up. See, when Joe Rogan talks about the um, the you oh you when he's speaking in reference to flat earth, oh well, these people just don't know about science. These people just don't have they even took a physics class? Like in that video, he asks his producer or whatever. Is like, come on, you come on, guy. You know, back me up here. You you took physics, and the guy's like. Yeah, uh, I took a physics class in high school, uh, but yeah, and I knew some of this stuff. And um, when when I was in that class, you know, when how they line up everything in physics, it just all makes sense. It's that's the most simple ass mentality, and it's not yours. It doesn't vibrate in truth. That shit sits in somebody else's idea. There's no intuition there. There's no even th the main point is there's not even being open to being questioned. That's my main point. If it's not open to being questioned, then you, you you're not really sitting in your truth. At at least you're sitting in somebody else's truth, and you're backing it up with ad hominem shields in order to make yourself look big because you got a big microphone same thing goes with ancient aliens and oprah and discovery channel and national geographic and history channel neil degrasse tyson bill nye big think michio kaku all these assholes with these big microphones make you believe just because they're loud or they're the same thing goes with the flat earth uh, top brass or whatever just because they have a big following and these big subscribers being meaning like a bigger pedestal or a bigger microphone whatever it is you should listen to what they say or believe them or, or whatever trust them in some kind of way it's all bullshit it's all an egoic mind control on a micro scale <clears throat> and when you get into Joe Rogan you're getting into the macro scale of um, locking down consciousness individually and collectively. The bigger your microphone gets, the more engaged you are in consciousness as a whole, collective consciousness. You can see what the mainstream media does to the, the organic human evolution. You can see what the university system and the public education system does to the organic <clears throat> expansion and lack thereof <clears throat> expansion <coughs> you can see what what politics does for um, 
bringing together people, which is actually more about keeping people apart. <coughs> Excuse me. All of this programming is ancient. Ancient. And if you don't go back into the indigenous stories, if you don't go back into the origins of the university system, the colonial grid, the human story as a whole, you'll be missing out on more, far more than just your basic level of engagement in your reality. You'll be missing out on your maximum potential as a whole. And this is what this, this monkey mind evolution theory mentality is based upon. It's based upon creating an illusory storyline for you to believe in so that that energy that is paid into that illusory storyline can be channeled to wherever the illusionists have intended that storyline to go. And since you just need an experience to live, then that's not breaking any laws because, or laws of the cosmic laws, because it's you that's create that's creating the illusion for yourself by believing with your belief systems, with your giving your power away to the education system by just continually being bombarded by frequencies that are not your own and being okay with that. So we all have the choice to grow up <clears throat> Excuse me. Grow up and out of a system or grow up and grow within a system. Same thing goes for people who want to be like their parents or <clears throat> geez. people who want to grow up and be just like their parents or just better than their parents, which is the same thing. Because you are judging your reality based upon um, s an entirely different frequency than your maximum potential, your soul. Your soul has an individual <clears throat> journey that you are on. Your genetic relationship is just one version of who and what you are. And that's what this whole grid is based upon, getting you locked into the physicality and missing out on your soul experience. So the the parents are programmed to raise the children to go through the same things they went through, be just better, hopefully be better parents than their parents were to them, and then teach them to be part of the system so they don't so they can become successful is you want something better for your children but it taking that to the map to the extreme a lot of these parents get caught up in this competitive version of reality and end up keeping their children down that's another part that's another expansion of the program and that's actually what the system is about subconsciously and consciously really is it's about um telling you like you can do this you can be this you can you can uh, do all this stuff, but you're really just going to be a piece of shit. You're just going to be less than. You'll never make it. That's what the whole monetary system is about, the fiat currency system. It's uh, like, and the whole American dream is like, if you work for it, you just keep working for it, you're going to make it. You're going to be successful. You might not be as successful as, uh, you know, us, because, you know, we're, we're just that kind. We're, we're that stock, you know. That's what we are. And there's this whole saying, like, um, I heard, I think Russell Crowe said it in some movie that he did. I just remember his face saying it to some other asshole. Uh, he said something like they were talking about Europeans as a whole. And he said, like, born to lead or something like that or born to rule. That's what he was like, born born to rule like this whole mentality this is why the queen of england is out there that whole it's it's a movie and you just believe in this shit you just allow it to be because you've been programmed to think a certain way and it goes from the simplest space of black and white <clears throat> and um yeah it's power spiritual power 
genetic power, intellectual power. And this is what um, individuals in the mainstream, like Ancient Aliens, Oprah, Joe Rogan, this is what they all have, is this illusion of power because the power itself is the, the idea of where you get your information from. Because your information, we used to get our information from the shaman of our tribes. We used to get the information from the elders, the storytellers. That's where we, the human essence, used to get our information from. And that's where the entire so-called evolved um, system, which is this university system and this uh, monkey mind. See, that's the only way they can play this ad hominem game is that if you believe that you are an animal, you are a monkey mind, and that we we um, evolved to you know having smartphones and being in the university system, and and then other people, those people are still fucking monkeys, man. They're still just monkey minds, and then they still act that way. You know, that's why we have these animalistic behaviors and all this. This is that's actually. See, when you watch that video with Joe Rogan that I'll link below, he you can see that he actually mentions that sort of perspective and then backs it up. That's him actually saying that. And that's what this whole system is based upon. The only way you can have rulers is if you have, like, animals that need to be ruled. This was what the gladiator arena was about. This is what this whole pet shit is, because <laughs> and if you're if you're um, totally um, powerless and I mean there's so much to the pet shit I don't even want to go into that right now but basically I did a video about that I think it was in reference to like God and dog backwards and that whole thing like basically you are the God for that dog. And uh, everything that that dog experiences is based upon you and you have to break that dog in order to be like <clears throat> in um, submissive to you and everything that you're you're gonna you know train that dog to be about and then basically you create that dog's entire world this is what the system does in itself so and it passes it on down to you so now you since you are doing this to a dog then you subconsciously make it okay to be done to you by the slave masters this is what's happening right now on a massive scale and this is the same shit that you do to your children when you face your children on a totally genetic physical reality basis and don't understand and expand the fact that they are a fucking soul if you face your reality from the physical reality before you face the reality from the soul level then you are already starting out on half off at best this is where the kids are when they're born here and they get a fucking birth certificate stamped on their feet. The soles of their feet get taken away and locked into a vault on purpose. This is actual literal magic, alchemical magic, alchemy. <clears throat> down to the very natures of how you think about yourself who you think you are what you think you did all this Trump shit talking about immigrants and all that shit this 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 place is the only place this is <laughs> God, you got immigrants in the not in the in the Americas calling native people the other people immigrants immigrants calling other people immigrants this the, the reason why those stories don't want to be told is because that will unravel the entire colonial system and these Joe Rogans and um, other people who are out these other meatheads that are out there are the, are, are the the front line defenders of that whether they know it or not Knowing that these assholes are already been in there, they know it on some level. 
on some level. So basically this video and I'll get in there's something scientific I want to get into too but the the images here and the essence that I wanted to tie into this and it was it's actually part of the scientific perspective too is basically um, how do you take your power back and you know why we should understand how we take our power back because this is another thing this is how this is like confusing when you listen to that Joe Rogan video um, it's confusing it's a very complex algorithm that he is because he defends he starts the video off talking about uh, how do these how do these motherfuckers have you know control over us or not not even just that video um, it's basically all of his videos uh, he speaks from an intellectual perspective but it's it has a very low ceiling he doesn't go very far but he speaks on and references some very important issues but those issues in, exist inside a box a Stockholm Syndrome enslavement box and that box is based upon the colonial mind control program as a whole and he defends it he defends it inherently by his approach um, but he shares the perspective of <clears throat> well you know how did these guys get in power like how do how do they have so much power over us and then that's it and that's basically worse than it's fucking horrible because you you get people angry you get them pissed off which is the same thing that Alan Alex Jones does but they don't know where to put this stuff they have nowhere to root it and when you understand that that exists that's an extreme thing to do uh, because that's on purpose if they if they don't have that's part that that's what the system is based upon as a whole is to stir up emotion pull up politics it's basically just politics you sell the program with emotion same thing with commercials like this fucking Burger King commercial it's like do 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 like that's for a fucking hot dog like they get this, these symphonies. Like, do, 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 Like, this, this fucking symphony of, of harmonies to sell you a fucking chili cheese hot dog. Made with 100% beef. I can't get that shit out of my head. Because Pandora, the music, I can't listen to music unless... I pay some monthly fee to get the ads out of there, but if I don't, I get to hear that fucking hot dog commercial 40 times of day a day. That's mind control. That's what's happening to these kids. These kids are walking around like, I gotta get a, I gotta, I need a, a Burger King hot dog. Like, this is so ridiculous. This is how deep this programming goes. And, and we it's so compartmentalized and it's so like soft and light and sweet like like doo -doo -doo -doo. like I said like that whole thing is is meant to make you like it this system is meant to make you like it that's like that fucking meathead Joe Rogan he's he's out there to speak and and you know be cool and hip and talk about you know cannabis and all this other stuff that's important to you so you can like him so you can try to be like him and think like him and set your limitations up like him and exist in a box like him and never question your reality outside of him because on one level you're afraid you you're you're programmed to just believe and and not think any further than the microphone algorithm uh like the bigger microphone it is the bigger and bigger and the more important you are <laughs> the more like shiny your shit is it's just it's an illusion all of it all of it it's ridiculous so yeah that's why it's so complex uh he's another and i've never really mentioned him in this perspective before but that last video which is very recent really got me and i wanted to put that out there so people can see that and relate it to 
all the other styles. See, his, his response to Flat Earth is the same exact response as Neil deGrasse Tyson because they are the defenders of that monkey mind mentality. And this is the split that's happening. True organic indigenous consciousness that already existed here and was taken to the Golden Ages many times over and spread all over the Earth plane many times over. This is why you have these pyramids all over the place. This is why you have these hieroglyphs glyphics in Mexico and South America that are the mirror images in ancient Kemet, the mirror images in Native America, all over the place. You have these stories, these mythologies, these cosmologies that mirror each other, that are ancient, that predate every single monkey mind mentality that you have today. And if you don't question that reality. If you start to question that reality, then you will start to question the very foundations of the mind control program today. And these Joe Rogan, Neil deGrasse Tyson, Bill Nye, Michio Kaku, Ray Kurzweil assholes are all out there to defend that program as a whole. And that's the thing with Joe Rogan is he says... <clears throat> He does the same thing Alex Jones and, and the Young Turks do. They want you to fight the system from within the system so that you don't actually do anything about the system as a whole. Because ultimately, the power, the true power exists outside of this system. And if you realize that, you will start to take the power away, which will take their power away, which they don't want to happen. So they have to convince you with their egos and these ad hominem perspectives to make you believe in a layer of the story instead of understanding the entire book, the entire library of information that exists that holds this control grid afloat. That is where the true power exists. And you don't need to go into like... <laughs> any kind of uh, classroom or any kind of you don't need anything this shit already exists inside of you it exists in your family in your genetic codes in your elders in the indigenous people it exists in the hieroglyphics excuse me it exists in the ancient languages the metu nature the uh, the storylines in the the uh, the ancient Aztec cosmology and the Mayan cosmology See how these stories all link up. These are all the same people, the same stories, the same essence that we used to be connected to on the earth plane. And now we've, we've come to a space where we can take it a layer deeper than they have gone. Take what, they, take what we've learned from the ancient people and expand upon it. Upon it. But if we're stuck in this mentality of well our pinnacle of human evolution is based upon the university system then you won't make any connections with the indigenous uh, information or wisdom and you won't expand on into, into a golden age space you'll expand from an iron age space at best this self-destructive illusion of reality these dark age intellectual grid they are they're calling physics and the university system as a whole this shit is all stolen first of all stolen and manipulated to to be presented just like that hot dog and that burger king commercial to look and sound and feel like something that is um uh a hundred percent beef like who who, it takes some fucked up mentalities to, <laughs> to say, well, you know, well, we got to, uh, we got, we got to sell this shit. We got to sell this hot dog, this, this case of garbage. How are we going to do this? Oh, we need something catchy. We need something light. We need something like, um people are gonna love and like snap their fingers to and really get down and start you know subliminally for a fucking hot dog this is what the system is about they're selling you 
so-called 100% beef hot dog, chili dogs from Burger King, calling themselves kings. Joe Rogan is a Burger King. In fact, I think that video is even on his King Joe Rogan YouTube channel. This is what these assholes do. The Queen of England. The President of the United States. The Burger King. It's all the same shit. They're just making some shit up so you can buy some Whoppers and sick some dogs on you. It's the same shit. War dogs. Joe Rogan is a war dog. Neil deGrasse Tyson is a war dog. To separate you from your maximum potential. Your connections to spirit. Lock you into the physical reality. Separate you from your true power. And then play the victim role at the same time. And say, oh, well, you know, well, how are we, how do these people have so much power? Like, how can they pass these laws and make this legislation to, like, so to, for us to follow? You know, like, what are we going to do? Or, like. It's the same shit. Alex Jones just does it from a Trump perspective. Says, "Well, Trump is not part of the system, and we need to we need to stop the system. So we need to put him in the system so he can stop the system from the inside out by the rules and regulations of the system." Yeah, let's do that. Hey, I talked about all this conspiracy stuff in the past decade or longer than that, so you should believe me. Like, yeah, okay. Simple-minded ass motherfuckers. This is the, this is the monkey mind mentality. This this is that artificial rabbit hole bullshit. And Ro, Joe Rogan doesn't even go into that. He won't even go there because he's he's either uh, controlled opposition to keep people there in that level of thinking. Uh, on purpose so he can flip the script in the future for something else or whatever it is he's definitely a controlled uh, opposition no different than Alex Jones and Young Turks same shit it's ridiculous keep your power away keep you down keep you from questioning and people listen to that radio that radio station every damn day like oh I love you Joe Rogan you you you're the best guy out da, da, da. like you're you're real you're just talking give me a fucking break it's bullshit. They're protecting this colonial program. These are the war dogs. Who don't give one shit about you. And they will sell you some 100% beef genetically modified Whopper Burger King hot dogs with chili cheese on it and tell you that's where you came from. That's your star stuff. That's, that's your big bang. That's where you, that's this is the pinnacle of of human evolution. A hot dog at Burger King. He's like, what? You don't like hot dogs? You're un-American. You're unhuman. You're un un monkey mind. Get out of here, you something else. You you ad hominem insert ad hominem space here. Fucking asshole. It's like this is this is what this whole thing is about. That's how far it goes. Never, never went. Like somebody asked me in a comment the other day, like, do you ever get in debates about so like for what? Debate about what? That's some monkey mind shit. They're like, it's like back and forth. It's like, do 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 do. You don't fucking go anywhere. It makes no sense. If you haven't evolved yourself to fucking get into a discussion with somebody or share some information or even be open to uh, being wrong or uh, learning something, then you're you're just those are ego battles. That's what a debate is. It's an ego battle. Because if you were really, if you're really interested in understanding, understanding and overstanding whatever topic you're talking about, then you would be interested in having a discussion with individuals and be open to changing whatever it is that you're talking about instead of just defending what this whole 
what whatever it is, whatever you've chosen to defend with your ego. It's ridiculous. It's all over the place. This monkey mind mentality through the university system, politics, the colonial system as a whole, it is it is and has destroyed not completely not completely severed but has separated to a, a great degree the connections that the human collective has with spirit our ancestors the ancient cultures the ancient information wisdom as a whole nature excuse me everything severing these connections on purpose so that this transhumanistic and Stockholm Syndrome mentality program can be installed so you can be a dog and they can be your master and then if you start to act up then they will sick their dogs on you never questioning never looking into why this stuff happened why it's still happening they want to install burger king and the, uh, a mini mall everywhere make you live hoard all the resources and that's part of this power too is going to go into what i'm going to talk about next but it's about storing um, keeping the resources from you because if you have a lack if you are stuck in a lack of resources, you are powerless. You are dependent. You are victimized and codependent on a program. And you will um, follow the rules and regulations of your slave masters simply to stay alive. You can't even drive down the street without... The thought in your mind, consciously or subconsciously, that one of these war dogs are going to come and give you a ticket to make you pay them for having a broken taillight or <laughs> whatever it is. Some stupid ass rule that was made up in order to maintain the illusion of control over you on somebody else's land the native americans that are up there right now are are uh, protesting over water not a damn word is being said about this on the mainstream media on purpose and when you start to make these connections and tie these threads together there are zero degrees of separation between the mainstream media, Alex Jones, Donald Trump, Barack Obama, the Young Turks, Oprah Winfrey, Joe Rogan. Zero degrees of separation by this whole conspiracy theory story th storyline as a whole, ancient aliens. Discovery Channel, National Geographic, no degrees of separation between any of them. This is all about sucking you into a distraction, sucking you into a powerless, victimized state of being. <clears throat> every single layer, every level is about making you turn your energy off and turn on their, 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 their illusions of energy from within you from separation from codependency from distraction from apathy from the lack of empathy from the lack of compassion from the lack of information the lack of information program the the biggest majority of the lack of information mind control program is based upon the information program within the illusory, illusory system itself those are the main those are the main individuals who are keeping you from the expansion that would empower yourself 
are the ones that are the Joe Rogans that are out there telling you like I'm smart you know you need to listen to me and stop and listen to the physics people listen to them come on guys they've evolved from monkeys to create quantum physics why don't you think about this shit come on what come on what's wrong with you fucking idiots it's ridiculous these are these iPhone assholes these iPhone mentalities Buy, buy, buy. Consume, consume, consume. This is the, the, the end. This is ultimately the end of the monkey mind mentality because there are too many people. It's these kids that are not going to be listening to Joe Rogan in the future. Joe Rogan is only popular right now because these simple minded ass motherfucking assholes are out there just uh, soaking it up. But these kids, these 10, 15 year olds, even the 20 year olds are look, listening to this dude like, I don't want to hear that. I don't wanna, I'm not about that ego shit. Like you're just a, you're just a, you're just playing a, an intellectual asshole. That's all it is. An intellectual meathead. It's an oxymoron. But it's catchy. And he's got a big microphone. And he's talking about some important issues. So, and it's better than the mainstream media. It's the same program that Trump is doing for Hillary. Trump is basically the mainstream media for Hillary Clinton's young Turks. So you can buy, or, or Alex Jones, or whatever it is. And vice versa for the people who believe in Trump and Alex Jones. Hillary Clinton is the mainstream media for Trump's Alex Jones storyline. It's the same shit. As long as you get caught up in that world, it's win-win for the system as a whole. Joe Rogan is on the outskirts of that to sell the meathead version of the internet and the university system and the Neil deGrasse Tyson. It's like, oh, this is this is existing, you know. You know, we gotta. We got to get pissed off about it, but we're not going to do anything about it. We're not going to understand what it's all about. We're not going to question our reality beyond that Colombian era bullshit system. We're just going to keep doing whatever it is we monkey minds are going to do and just believe whatever this system is about and just follow into this this storyline as it's played out for us never question the reality as a whole just keep talking about climate change and global warming and every other fear tactic that they put out there for people it's ridiculous scare the shit out of you install mind control programs and make you sell that shit to your kids that's the program as a whole and it'll go on for generations. And then they'll feed you doggy treats of, you know, in 2020, we're going to be on Mars. Look, we have a space. Oh, it blew up. Oh, man. $230 million down the drain. Oops. Tax dollars. Oops. They could have made, <laughs> they could have said, oh, they could have put like <laughs> five hand grenades Running the running at about five dollars a piece, at best probably less than that, in some hollowed out cardboard box, space, <laughs> space uh rocket, and then set it up and then just blew it up. Oh, we just blew up two hundred billion dollars. Oops, it cost like ten dollars to make that rocket. Meanwhile, they just pocketed. Two hundred billion dollars of tax money invested into that, and then funnel that in from funnel that money somewhere else. These are straight up gangsters. NASA, Democrats and Republicans. These are gangs, and they're all the same gang. Pirates, creating laws for you to believe in the maritime admiralty system. These are pirates running pirate law on land intellectual pirates making you believe in storylines that are not your own intellectual pirates that are that are slaughtering the hearts and minds of your children 
making your children believe a certain thing, act a certain way, feel a certain way, raise their children a certain way. <clears throat> these celebrities back that shit up. Joe Rogan ain't no different than any of these other asshole celebrities out there making you think, act, and feel a certain way. This shit ain't for you to be entertained. This is for your, in child, your children to be enslaved. You call it entertainment. They call it mind control for your children. At least, this, this stuff at least is programmed 10 years out. This is why NASA is always talking about we're gonna do this in 20, 2018. We're gonna we're gonna send a rocket over here. And what if Europa has you know life form? And what if Mars has life form? That'll just change everything. This is that Bill Nye shit. Then we'll have something else to distract you and have you pay your tax money into so you can believe into the system as a whole. How about that? You guys like that? Huh? 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 It's the same shit like that old junk lady on Labyrinth. Don't you like your little teddy bear, huh? Don't you want to don't you want to stay in this little room and be little <clears throat> little Sarah for the rest of your life? Don't you want to play with your dolls? That's the junk lady selling you an illusion until she breaks through that fucking wall to go finish what she needs to be doing. This is an illusion. All of it. Twenty years out. These per, these per, at least fifty years out for presidential stuff. These shit. This shit's chosen. They say, well, we're we're gonna put something like a nine eleven around this time frame. We're gonna put something like the internet around this time frame. By the time the internet expands from this level of engagement to this level of engagement it'll be about like this we'll have to release this to distract people from this we'll have to put movies out like this to get people to believe in this and distract from this we'll have to start talking about this on this so we'll have to put ancient aliens out here around this time so by this time we'll be at season 10 or 11 so like that that information that we'll have enough people believing and watching it so they can believe in this this part of the story. And then by then we can also have uh, Tesla come out and then put with SpaceX stuff at this time frame. So we'll release the Apple iPhone and this and we'll have the watch at this time frame so we can have the holographic images and the, the, the microchip version of the iPhone at this time frame. And everybody will be so locked into it that it's the same thing they did. They did with that iPhone. It, 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 the iPhone and the auxiliary cable and that whole thing. That the way that shifted and made you shift your entire reality. Like some people are like, oh, I gotta change now. And then they they start to like uh, pride themselves. Like, oh, I'm I'm with the new. I'm with the cool crowd. <laughs> you you guys still got that old auxiliary cord. You fucking assholes. You guys are just idiots idiots with that old technology old headphones like yesterday you guys are idiots you don't have this new iphone where i just have this one cable that does everything i can plug it in and i can listen to my headphone i can i can plug it in to charge my phone i now i have wireless headphones you guys still got wires like the old the old uh, remote control cars. If people don't remember, people don't remember the old remote control cars, the first ones that came out had a wire connected to it, and you had to follow it around like a little fucking dog, with your with your remote control in your hand and chase the damn car around like an idiot. <laughs> and then, and then when the remote control like wireless came out, it was like, oh, oh my god, I gotta get that. Like, like they say that old crossfire. Crossfire, you will get caught up in the crossfire. Like, do, 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 do. they they make you like this is how like that Burger King song it gets you to buy this shit. 
this is the adolescent monkey mind mentality bought off and sold by toys enslaved by the physical reality herded into a mentality this is what Trump and Hillary is they chose these these idiots in this storyline as a whole decades ago decades ago Trump and Hillary is basically a remote control car with a wire connected to the remote control for the next agenda that they're getting ready to sell for whatever next move they make they would, it, it'll be a wireless version <laughs> he'll just be like oh this is something new oh great yeah like oh yeah uh, that that's so awesome that they're they're thinking of something peaceful and nice yeah because when they had just Trump and Hillary out there I was like really I don't want to just ban Muslims or have to bomb them I just want to you know live peacefully and live together let's we we need to change this system right yeah come on don't you think we need to change the system and, and have something new? Crossfire! So, <laughs> hopefully the video didn't cut off. I don't know how long it's been going, but... Um, I'll make it quick, because this is just a, an idea for... <clears throat> um, everything really uh this ties into even hillary stuff with the whole Qaddafi, the whole Qaddafi um move that was made out there and why and flat earth so-called flat earth wearing these Qaddafi shirts and never even fucking going into the whole storyline they just oh they just want to make a shirt out of it they hear some some quote and then just say oh yeah well you know that was a good quote let's make a shirt out of it you know it's that's what these top brasses are all about. Flat earth top brass. Like, oh yeah, well. Let's just use these storylines. Same like Alex Jones turned his storylines from conspiracy theory into Trump. Same thing. They just turned it into a, a, a frisbee or something. Anyway. So Gaddafi was tapping into this water source and was getting ready to unify Africa in not the African Union style of unionization that they're getting ready to in install like the whole Brexit stuff that was going down and the whole North American Union stuff that's being talked about. Gaddafi was about to do it from the inside, from his people, which is different outside of the control grid. He was going to do it with his gold. He was going to do it with their resources and they were going to shockwave the entire control grid system until he was taken out and one of the main things one main ways he was going to do it is um by tapping into the waters beneath the earth the waters within the earth and this goes into the primary water reach the, the primary water uh information that's out there i would recommend checking it out uh, very crucial in reference to uh, empowering ourselves and seeing what what's going on outside of uh, <clears throat> these these magicians who are just creating more sickness and disease by passing legislation. They're passing legislation to keep you from healing yourself psychologically, medically, intellectually, spiritually. This is what all this stuff is about. Keeping you on a lower vibration so that you do not expand. And one, and one of the main things is to keep you from your resources. To keep you from understanding what true power is about. What what basic human nature is <clears throat> if you are stuck in the Stockholm Syndrome of nationalism capitalism this bogus idea of democracy this maritime admiralty enslavement mind enslavement this monkey mind control grid 
you won't even know what basic human nature is. You'll be worshipping these these iPhone sevens and these chili cheese Burger King hot dogs. It's the same shit. Same story, same style, different day. And one way we can start doing that, the first thing we need to do is to start looking into ourselves. Looking into what has already been uh, accomplished with the indigenous, the ancient indigenous people here. Go before the Colombian era. Go before this, this, um, I already showed this one. Go before this mind control grid program and start to see what else is out there. Inform ourselves outside of the the uh, the the informers of limitation. Those those installers that are just gonna enslave your your hearts and minds and make you program and, and limit yourself and think of yourself as like a victim instead of empowering yourself from re into reconnecting with who and what you are on a spiritual level to understand that this is a spiritual warfare that's being played on your soul if you're caught up in politics then you're going to miss the whole point of the soles of your baby's feet on a birth certificate locked away in a vault your very life being monetized and put towards the debt of illusion and you pay for that debt in blood so once we start reconnecting with our resources finding out that we are not that's the only way you can be uh, controlled is to be convinced that you are in a lack a state of lack on a res regular basis so when your resources are controlled, then you are uh, a victim and subject to whatever those controllers of those resources are, the storylines that they're putting out. So one thing is obviously the food, um, the genetically modified and organic stuff that's already being revealed for what it is. Uh, the abundance of food that is out there that is just not... Uh, the, the people well the reason why people are starving is because uh, the, the the money system is designed to keep waste the waste system going so people just waste everything and a third of the food it's either a third or two thirds I can't remember what it is I think it's like two thirds of the food actually gets wasted and if we were to tap into empathy instead of apathy then we'd be able to understand how to utilize a system that would be able to feed everybody organic food without being some part of some fucking socialist version of reality but tapping into our natural human natural law the human space Water is obviously a part of it, and this primary water source that is underneath the crust, this is an example of it, you can look into it yourself. Uh, this is what actually Gaddafi was tapping into in Africa, and it exists all over the earth plane. This is why it was taken out, because if uh, you start giving these resources freely, which is what he was doing, you can see how he ran Libya. I mean, he was giving money away for pregnancy, people who were pregnant, uh, for a car, uh, to go to school, all this stuff. That's just one way. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that in reference to why he was taken out. Um, so, because the mind, the mindset of it all, it's about power. So, in reference to this, if the tape is still even playing right now, tape. You can see where I hold up my ass. Dude. Um, so my own perspective of this, and I'll go into this in, in later videos, but <clears throat> as far as the flat earth is concerned, um, I was looking into this whole, like, obviously the as above, so below stuff. So I've been pondering um, on the whole sky being water and um, 
the stars and I made the vi a video called Water Star Emotion or something like that. The stars being like uh, energetic light suspended in the the waters of space, um, or what we call space. But seeing the layers as um, insulators, so the 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 fabric of space is actually an insulator between this realm and the next realm. And the fabric of water that's underneath the crust of the earth plane is actually an insulator between this realm and the realm below this realm. And this is this is maybe where the whole like fire or the whole hell space comes from. But there's also other stories talking about this this relationship of this earth plane being like. Uh, Anyway, I don't want to go into that right now. But basically from this um, research of the primary water that I've gotten into, uh, what it triggered for me was was the whole like layers in going into the, the other video where I was talking about um, quantum immortality. Yeah, so where the the spaces are, are basically infinite planes and the higher you go you're going into another dimension but how it's physically interpreted is with stuff like water and water being like a, a uh, I want to save that for another video but basically it's the same thing like off and on hot and cold the way your 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 reality is flickerated like a television it's a constant movement like a crystal is constantly vibrating but we see it as a physical structure it's actually moving so it's not really a solid or a liquid it's a it's a vibrant vibrating essence really that just appears as a physical in this from this perspective as a physical being um, and that whole slow down just like ice is a slow down version of water and steam is a is a activated version of water um, a sped up version of water then you can understand that those are different you can see that as like a perspective of different dimensions of water and one for an example like of the different layers of experience so you can have ice experiences you can have water experiences you can have steam experiences and have living beings and energies within each of those experiences this is how seeing water's engagement understanding the fact that our bodies excuse me are 70 plus percent water and the information um, that gets shared through water um, and how crucial it is to life and consciousness as a whole and to separate that relationship of water and to use it as a as a as a way to keep individuals from connecting with their reality or connecting with their basic human needs by limiting them and saying we're running out of water or climate change and all this other shit and keep basically keeping you from uh, the understanding of you know water being just beneath us the freshest water there is.